everybody this is Tina welcome to my video today you guys I am gonna be sharing a card we're gonna dive in and make a card and I'm gonna be using this product right here this is such these are such cute stamp sets you guys I don't think that I will ever get rid of these stamp sets I will get rid of a lot of stamp sets after they retire if I'm if I don't love them but this these two sets and then it has a coordinating die set is amazing and I don't think I will ever get rid of it so in the annual catalog you can get this set and if you bundle this set together you save 10% and you have the stamp and then you have the die set and everything coordinates and then in the holiday catalog that goes live tomorrow you'll be able to pick this stamp set up tomorrow you can pick this stamp set up which coordinates with the dies so then you're getting even more use out of these dies and this is all um, holiday themed fall Halloween Christmas I love it. it was on the very first order I did from the holiday catalog and I wanted to dive in and use it so you can just stamp the the image the coffee cup or you can use the dies and then cut out this and then you have the kind of the same idea so let's get started we're gonna use Cajun craze and I want to use this because I finally got my re-inker and was able to re-ink my ink pad and so um I thought it would be fun to use so we're gonna use that and I have a bunch of stuff here you guys it's more product than I usually use use on a card um, but I just had a lot of fun I just sat down with this product I grabbed my fall paper so this uh, painted autumn paper I grabbed it and wanted to play with some of that um, so we're gonna do that so I have a Cajun craze card base so this is five and a half by four and a quarter and it's just a card base and then I will attach it to a white card front so that when I'm writing in it I can write on white paper so then what I have is this is a soft sky piece of cardstock. I took a quarter inch off of it and then I ran it through my big shot with this embossing folder. So I had a question about a big shot and what it does and if it's a die cut machine or what I'm using it for and it does both. It embosses like this and then it also when you run your thin dies through it it will cut. So the way I did the polka dots is you just put it in your folder I kind of just line it up there and then you roll it through the die cut machine when it comes out it looks like this so what I'm gonna do is I have some soft sky ink and this definitely needs to be re-inked this ink pad apparently all of mine need to be re-inked but before I do that what I'm gonna do is run my I grabbed a sponge dauber I'm putting it in this ink and then I'm going to run it over my polka dots and I'm kind of being really messy and pressing down on it and I just want these polka dots to show up a little bit more and then let's ink the edges just run this right along the edges and it's my ink pad is really dry so I'm not getting a ton of ink and that's okay because I just want it to be real light anyway so it's fine and then I'm gonna re-ink this before I put it back so I don't forget to so we can go ahead and attach this part because this part is done. So now we have this part. So we have a couple things here. I have some of that designer paper. This is an inch. So it'll be perfect inch by five and a half. And this can just go flat too. And you could use either side for this. You could totally use the pumpkin side for it. I really love these uh, squares these water looking type squares. I use my grid mat to line that up and then we have some fun things we're gonna put together. So this is the die, so this is what the die looks like and this is the piece you get. So when you lay this flat um, in your big shot and you run it through, what happens is then it pops right out and you have a die cut. So I have several die cuts here. I die cut the coffee cup out, the part that goes over this and then the very top so I have that piece and then from this die set from my colorful seasons die set I have this leaf and then I have several other leaves um, and they look like this and we're going to use all of these 
So I'm going to do a whole bunch of inking and different things to make these dies kind of stand out. So the first thing we're going to do is take the Cajun Craze, which I re-inked my Cajun Craze. So it is very juicy and you can tell right away that there is getting a lot of ink on this on the edge of this. And that's really what I want. I want it to be really, really dark on the ends. So I'm not really trying to um, maybe blend this out into the rest of the die cut. I really am just inking the edges and getting a dark color on there. So then the other thing that I want to do is I have this leaf and you can see it's the it's like a smaller one and I cut those both out in pumpkin pie but I want this to be a different color. I want it to be more Cajun craze. So what I'm doing is just taking that sponge dauber and that Cajun craze ink and we're just going to ink right over that cardstock and it gives it a little bit a different color because it's got that an undertone of that orange but we'll just set that aside and let it dry and then the next thing we want to ink with our Cajun craze is just the very top and that's going to be this tone on tone effect so I'm using Cajun craze cardstock and then I'm putting Cajun craze ink over that which is darkening up my edges but it is also giving you that tone on tone look okay so we did that and I think we're all done with the Cajun craze let's do all of our inking at once so the next thing we're going to ink is we're going to ink this sleeve now this is cut in lemon lime twist and I'm going to use garden uh, garden green to do my inking and that is going to be a darker color and I'm going to bring that ink in even though it's going to be really dark right on the edges then I'm going to bring that sponge dauber in and pull some of that ink out so it's a lighter color and then we're going to do something else to go ahead and blend all of this together but we're going to get that ink on there okay so we have that part and then we'll need yellow for this leaf right here. And we'll just come in and I'm just very gently kind of going all over the entire leaf portion. I just want to add some depth and color to this leaf. And it's really delicate and it's going to be really hard to do it in any precise places. So I just, you saw, I'm just adding color to all of that. So we have that. And then let's add some color to this, but I don't want to get out my orange ink pad. So what I'm going to do is just take my Cajun craze. I'm not going to bring any ink in like I'm not dipping it in my ink anymore since my ink was really juicy and I have lots of ink left on here and I'm going to just come on the edges of this and just add some color to it just like that. You could run these pieces through your die cut machine in an embossing folder and give it a little bit more texture, but I think that we're good. So I wanna do a couple things and I'm gonna go ahead and use this as a, as a scratch paper. You guys know I'm horrible about just grabbing cardstock that's on my desk and using it as scratch paper. So what I wanna do is take my Wink Estella. Now this Wink Estella, for whatever reason, the glitter and the glimmer is like, Oh, there's so much in the tip of this that when I'm using it, it's really overpowering. That's not usually how a Wink Estella works. It's usually very subtle, but for whatever reason, I have a juicy one that's kind of leaking. So I've just been taking it and wiping the edge off on my lid. Okay, so let me zoom in and we're going to add some glimmer and some color to this. And you're going to see it's going to be very heavy on the glimmer part and that's going to be okay. So I'm just going to come in here. I'm going to go all in one direction. So you can see I'm taking that brush and going all in one direction. That's picking up some of this color and moving it around a little bit. And you see there's a lot of glimmer. So let's set that aside. Um, because this right here is this Cajun craze and I have Cajun craze right here, I'm going to do the same thing. So I'm doing the light colors first. Not the light, but the like colors. So here's Cajun Craze. It's going to move that ink around because this will re reactivate that ink. And then what I'm going to do is wipe that off because now we're going to go into the green. And I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to pull that green, that darker green, that garden green. We're going to pull it out into the middle of the die cut. 
and that is going to bring that ink and darken it up over that lime green and then of course I'm getting that glimmer and I'm going all in one direction because I don't want to tear my paper or break down the fibers of that paper too much so I'm just going all in one direction and you can see those end up being very very glittery and that's okay so we're gonna set those aside to dry so now let's come back over and start putting together our card so what I want to do is layer my leaves first I really think that this still is a little bit darker than what I'm wanting so just very gently I'm just adding a little bit more color so now what I want to do is layer these like this and then my coffee cup is kind of gonna go over those leaves so this isn't gonna be really precise I'm just gonna lay it down and we're gonna go with it and we'll see how it works I'm not going to overthink it. So we'll have this one right here. And then for this one, we're going to use some of our fine tip glue. And I'm just going to put little dots. And can I just tell you guys, we are in the middle of another heat wave here. The weather had cooled down and it was really nice last week. And then all of a sudden, we had a heat wave come in. It's like 113 degrees again and we're under a heat advisory and it's miserable and I you guys like fall needs to get here my friend Megan was enjoying 62 degree weather a couple days ago and was sending me photos and I w I said that's mean mm -hmm. okay so we have a leaf down there sorry you guys my kids a school called so I had to take that call real quick so I have my leaf down and I'm dreaming of fall like I was saying and I can't wait for it to get here and I'll be so happy when we're just done with summer. It has been a long, hard summer, you guys. So I think that this is dry enough. And what I like to do is you can hit it with your heat tool if you're not positive it's dry, but I'm pretty sure it is. So we'll put some glue. You can use your tape runner for this. But we're just going to assemble all of these pieces and they end up being so cute. I know that's a lot of shimmer, you guys. It's a lot more shimmer than Wink Estella usually gives you. But then I just kind of hold this together. That liquid glue will let you fix the top of it. It'll give you a little bit more movement. So then what we're going to do, let me just make sure this is dry. Yeah, it looks like it. So we're going to take the sentiment that says, Hello Fall. And we're going to do this in Cajun Craze. And we're going to stamp right over all of that glitter and it's gonna be fine you're just gonna you got one shot so either use your misty or stamp position tool or just make sure you go straight down and then straight back up and this is so cute you guys I love it okay so now cuz I don't want to smear any use some of this liquid glue for the sleeve and that will fit right over the coffee. I'm not a big fan of pumpkin spice coffee. I, I actually don't like it at all, quite frankly, to be honest. Um, I never get pumpkin spice coffee, but I do like pumpkin spice, you know, like scones or muffins or like I like I do like pumpkin flavor, but just not in my coffee. Okay, so now let's take some foam and pop this piece we'll up. Position that right over our leaves. And then what we want to do is that leaf that I gave a little bit of color, I kind of cheated on the color. I'm going to add a dimensional to that, and we're going to layer that over here for a little bit of Cajun craze coloring. And either way, I mean, you can layer it anywhere you want. I like it right there. It's still a little wet because it's inked. And so I love the way it looks. The last thing I'm going to do, the very last thing I'm going to do, which I'll do this and then I'll come back and show you how it turned out, is I'm going to add some white stitching to the edge of my cardstock. I'm just going to warm my white gel pen up on my finger and then I'm just going to come in and do little dash lines for some faux stitching. And I'll do that and then I'll come back and show you the end result. Okay, on this one you cannot really see the faux stitching. 
I think maybe I might have got some glitter from my finger on there, but on this one you can. You can see that faux stitching a little bit better. So I did two of them. You can see the mini Cajun craze leaf is in a different position on each one, and that's okay. I love the way they both turned out. On this one, I added a little bit of, bake, uh, not baker's twine, but linen thread to the very top of the coffee cup. So I would love to know which one you guys like better. Do you like the linen thread tied to the top of the coffee cup, or do you like it without? Um, these are the cards that I will be creating and making for my team to send out for top and sells and shout outs this month. So I have a few of these to make, um, and I'm going to do that while all of my supplies are out. I hope you guys enjoyed seeing this uh, video and I look forward to the holiday catalog going live for all of you guys tomorrow. I will have a holiday catalog walkthrough here on my channel tomorrow and then I may ev even be doing a Facebook live and creating something on camera um, over on my Facebook page. So I'll leave the links below for my Facebook page. All of the supplies are listed in the YouTube description below and I will be back tomorrow to hang out with you guys. I hope you have a great day.